everyone, I'm Esther and I'm here today to give you the scoop on the new releases by CeraVe. CeraVe is a brand that I have been so much in love with. They just quietly released two new products in their acne control line. That is the CeraVe acne control cleanser as well as the CeraVe acne control gel. So today I need you to stay through to the end so that I can give you the scoop about these new releases and should you or should you not bother to get them. So let's dig into this video and let's find so out. So the CeraVe Acne Control Cleanser basically contains 2% salicylic acid. In addition, it also contains niacinamide, which will help to calm the skin down. It also contains hectorite clay, that is a mineral clay, which is a good skin purifier and oil absorber. Now we all know salicylic acid is so beneficial in acne control. One of the steps in acne formation is the fact that the, the pores get clogged up with dead skin cells. And then, of course, this is combined with sebum, excess sebum production. What salicylic acid will do to your skin is to help to clear out the pores, decongest the pores and clean them out. And then it will also help mildly exfoliate the skin to ensure that those dead skin cells that would normally form on the surface of those pores will be opened up and then you would not get acne. So as with every other thing that CeraVe does, it's fragrance free, it's alcohol free, it's free of essential oils. And the formulation is always as usual as with Cera CeraVe uh, brands, awesome. Now, you may wonder, they already have a SA cleanser, the smoothing cleanser. It says this um, product is ideal for daily use to gently exfoliate the dead skin cells that can clog the pores and contribute to acne. It also says that um, this product is formulated to clear acne, to reduce blackheads, improve the appearance of pores, while, puri while the, it also contains the purifying clay, which enables it to absorb excess oil, which is one of the things that we talked about. Acne formation, excess or sebum, as well as clogging up of pores by dead skin cells come together from acne. So this cleanser is supposed to take care of those two things together. Now this acne control cleanser, as with every CeraVe product, also contains the three essential ceramides, as well as niacinamide. Niacinamide is a product that I love so much. It helps calm down with all this cleansing, exfoliating, everything going on. Having niacinamide in the mix is just so fantastic because it will help calm down the skin. For me, as someone that has dry skin, there's just nothing so annoying as to cleanse your skin and it just feels so tight, it feels so uncomfortable. Cleansing routine for me is like a spa, like therapy session. I just love to lather, you know, feel like all those adverts, you know. Um, so let's get back to the video. Okay, so let's see what, um, of course, it's not available yet. So I'm looking at their website and it's not yet available for sale, but you know, they're asking you to put down your email. You'll be notified when it comes up. The acne control gel is also at 2% salicylic acid. It contains glycolic acid. It also contains lactic acid. It's like a group of exfoliating acids. So while your salicylic acid is your BHA, your glycolic, your glycolic acid, I can't seem to pronounce everything this night. Okay. Breathe. Glycolic acid is your AHA as well as your lactic acid as well. Lactic acid is a fantastic exfoliant for people that have dry skin. Glycolic acid is a bit more, has a bit more of a smaller molecule. So it does in amongst the three of them, that is the salicylic acid and lactic acid. Glycolic acid does a, a better job at exfoliating your skin renewed and looking brighter and ensuring that your pores do not get clogged up in the first place, right? That, that's the whole idea behind this. Lactic acid, in addition to exfoliating, also helps to draws moisture into the skin it helps in moisturizing especially with dry skin as well so putting all these three um, components together is supposed to be additive and fantastic right now but one thing to realize is that when it comes to choosing exfoliating acids glycolic acid especially in people of skin of color is a bit icky because one of the things that can happen with glycolic acid is that one can become easily irritated or sensitized because that molecule is so small it flies fast through the skin causes rapid exfoliation Initially, one may notice like, you know, brightening and renewal of the skin. But as time goes on, one might even experience ex um, irritation with glycolic acid. Of course, what I'm saying is a bit of a generalization. So if you're someone that is already used to using glycolic acid, for instance, maybe you use the ordinary AHA, BHA, sulpilin solution, or any other glycolic acid product very comfortably well, and you do not have any sort of irritation, you've not suffered any sort of, you know, stinging sensation uh, with any of these products, by all means, you can obviously go ahead and try this. How do you use these products? For the cleanser, 
it's remember it's two percent salicylic acid now even though the instructions um so let's go, let's go to the instructions so it's it instructions on how to use it it says you should use every morning and evening you wet your face then walk a dime-sized amount into a lather gently massage avoiding the eye area be cool two percent salicylic acid to ex to wash your face every day i think that is stretching it because if we say that something exfoliates your skin however gently it does that i mean at two percent i would say you need to step back a bit why would i be using an exfoliating cleanser every day and i'm using it morning and night uh -uh. why are you people like this so what how do i advise that you should use it so if i'm going to be judging from my experience with this when I tried to use it every day, it was drying for my skin. I remember I said this is 0.5%. So if we're saying something is 2% salicylic acid, like four times the concentration of salicylic acid in this new product compared with the old one. Haba, how? Of course, it's going to be drying. And also remember that it also has that ectorite clay that also helps in absorbing oil. I know that oily skin divas will fall in love with this. But even at that, please, I would say really consider whether you need to use this morning and night but of course it's your choice it's your skin and because i wouldn't know everybody's skin type and how it responds to it you can try it maybe at the onset start with using it just once a day do you understand maybe use it once a day and then see how it works and then go for a gentle cleanser at the second wash and see how that works for you if that works for you you don't have irritation fine you can go ahead with it one thing that i am certain about is that cerave formulations are always very gentle they are they, you know they, they are alcohol free they're essential oil free they're fragrance free so if there's minimal um you know cost for you to suffer irritation however we're talking about salicylic acid it's an active and one of the side effects of salicylic acid is that it can be drying to the skin so i would say if you're going to use this probably use it about three times a week you can even use it as a nighttime cleanser so that that way you're putting your heavy duty cleanser at night and then in the morning you're going for something gentle or you want to do your double cleansing at night and then use this three times a week in the mornings only and ensure you follow up with a good moisturizer now let's go to the acne control gel now remember that both um, salicylic acid in a wash form and a leave-on form are both effective the advantage of the wash-off form is that the salicylic acid stays on your skin for a very a short period of time not very but short period of time such that it minimizes the chances of irritation so for dry skin divas like myself we would usually want to opt for salicylic acid in that form contrast people that have oily skin acne prone skin they will be able to tolerate the gel um, the acne control gel better because when you apply salicylic acid in this gel form and like I said CeraVe products always have gentle formulations it stays on the skin and is able to exert more of its effect in helping to control the acne breakouts in helping to exfoliate the skin um, gradually another thing you need to put take uh, take note of is that this is an exfoliating product so after using this, you shouldn't now go in with uh, um, salicylic acid toner, go in with a glycolic acid toner or something like that in your routine. So if you know you want to use this, you want to put the exfoliating acids aside. Really, please. I know we want your skin to be squeaky clean and glowing and everything, but no, please. I'm begging you. Thank you very much for listening. Okay, so I didn't know this video. Which one are you going to get? Or you're asking me, which one am I going to get? My heart says yes. My bank account says, don't even try it. I'm going to deal with you. So, you know, my answer is no. Because, well, because um, ever since using tretinoin and then I use the salicylic acid mask. If you've not watched that video of the ordinary salicylic acid mask and you're looking at me like this, we're, we're not friends. You need to go watch the video. So click the link above. Because I've already, my, my acne is somewhat under control with the routine I currently have. So it's not going to make a lot of sense for me to go and get a 2% salicylic acid wash that also has an oil absorbing clay in it. So no, I, I wouldn't be um, getting it. But if you have oily skin, believe you me, it's something that I've been looking out for, for CeraVe to do, which is to do something that is at the at the acne control strength the therapeutic strength which is two percent salicylic acid and i think if you have oily skin that is also acne prone this would be a fantastic product because um i've tried the neutrogena um salicylic no is it acne control wash or something like that and that stuff fine it also has fragrance in it it comes in a gel form it, it's 
it's a gel wash it's drying as in ugh, it is pretty drying to the skin um i've used it some other people have used it and they give they gave that feedback so i'm like if you've tried that and it gave you that disastrous experience i think you should try and go for this one so if you've enjoyed this video and learned you know so far from me please remember to like this video it really helps a lot it's going to help more people to see this video um subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content from me okay <laughs> okay then so i normally don't you know put makeup and all those things but I, I just need to look fine for you guys so that you guys are like oh she goes so pretty and all that stuff so please give a comment in the comment section below one which one of these products are you willing to try and then secondly which other videos would you like me to you know put up and discuss with you so till we meet in our next video i will say god bless you so much thank you for watching my video i am so happy that you're here and um I'm, I'm happy to do this and talk to you guys about skincare so that you can have the best skin and flip your hair okay for those of us that don't have any hair on our head we'll flip our necks in many different directions peace out bye